Thank you, Madam Speaker, for the opportunity for me to second this motion. Let me start by thanking the Honorable Member, Member for Kilifi North, uh, for the passionate way in, in, in the way he has moved these particular amendments. I want to confirm to you, Madam Speaker, that we've had an opportunity to sit with the Honorable Member. We've had uh, discussions, very robust engagements, and we do realize that uh, these amendments, which have been sponsored by the Honorable Member, will go a long way in ensuring that uh, we give life and we resuscitate the activities of the National Land Commission. Madam Speaker, let me say that uh, the objective of this particular bill is the amendments of Section 14 of the National Land Commission Act, number five of 2012, to restore the National Land Commission's power to review grants and positions of public land for the propriety and legality. In addition, the bill seeks to amend Section 15 of the Act to enable the Commission to continue admitting and processing historical land injustice claims which lapsed in September 21, 2021. The Commission's power to review grants and process historical land injustices expired, leading to a gap in its mandate. As a result, many historical land injustices claim remain unsolved due to time limit, as in stating the restoration of the Commission's authority in this regard. What we have, Madam Speaker, at the moment, what is obtaining at the moment is that uh, the National Land Commission is not able to process some of these cases which are reported to it simply because of this uh, time limit. And what is being proposed here is a continuation and sustainability of uh, this very motive aspect of injustices. The bill underwent its first reading on Wednesday, 27th, September 2023, and it was subjected to public participation in accordance to the constitutional requirements and our standing orders, Madam Speaker. The Departmental Committee on Lands engaged with the sponsor of the bill, as highlighted, and solicited comments from various stakeholders through an advertisement which was done on 2nd October 2023. We did receive a number of memorandum from various stakeholders, including the National Land Commission, the Institution of Surveyors of Kenya, the Kenya Land Alliance, and also the State Department of lands and fiscal planning. Madam Speaker, I want to thank the members of the committee for their dedication, for their diligence in examining the bill, and I also want to thank the office of the speaker, the clerks who have served the, uh, the committee for their leadership and guidance throughout the legislative process. I also want to thank all those who are involved in processing this particular bill. I want to end by saying that uh, this is a very crucial exercise, actually the two amendments which are going to be done, and it will give life to the National Land Commission. At the moment, we have so many cases which have been reported. Some are reported to the National Assembly, some go to the Committee on Petitions, and some even go to the National Land Commission. By ensuring that we're able to effect these amendments, I'm very sure it will be a reprieve to the citizens of this country. With that, Madam Speaker, I'll want to second.